All right guys, E2U is back with another great video to help you on your next job. Today is all about our rapid mender and using it for a concrete crack repair. As you can see, we're starting by cleaning up the crack with a grinder. This helps remove any loose debris and kind of cleans up the crack to provide an optimal workspace for the mender to form a solid bond in the joint. Of course, you want to follow that up with the vacuum to make sure you remove absolutely everything that you can, all dust and debris. Now it's time to get the mender ready. It consists of part A, part B, and part C. We highly recommend using a mixed ratio of one part A, one part B, and four part C. We're just doing a small area for this demonstration, so we're using four ounces of A, 4 ounces of B, and 16 ounces of C. If you need a less thick, more liquid-like consistency, you can use less than the four parts of the C. For best mixing results, gradually pour in the sea blend, rather than dumping it in all at once. You really want to make sure everything is mixed well, so be sure to scrape the sides of the container and get all of that sea powder mixed in to the A and the B. Now that it's all mixed up, we only have a few minutes of working time before it starts kicking off. We're just going to gravity pour it right into the crack. You'll then want to take your paint stick and just kind of help guide it in. You don't necessarily need to use it like a trowel, but just help flow it in, make sure it gets into every nook and cranny. You'll want to pour beyond the crack's hard edges and build up a crown with the mender. And don't worry about over pouring, as we will grind it down later after it has cured. But to help that process, you can take your stick and taper the edges down to the concrete. You'll notice that we took the leftover mender in the container and left it on the side. And there's a purpose behind that, and it's a helpful little tip we'll get to later. The mender should be ready to grind down in 20 to 30 minutes with our diamond bit. Before doing so, you should perform a scratch test on it first to see how hard it is. If it flexes or feels too soft, it is not ready and you should give it another few minutes. All right, now that we have everything grinded down and flush, you'll notice that the mender is completely covering those critical edges from the previous crack, and it is completely bonded to the crack walls. Unlike other fillers, the rapid mender will not change due to temperature changes or moisture changes. What you see is how it will be. Now back to that container with the leftover mender. We left it on its side, and now it is also cured but if you gently squeeze the sides of the container, you can actually pop all of that out and be able to reuse that container and save some money in the process. Well, there you have it. That is our video on how to do a concrete crack repair with our rapid mender. We really appreciate you stopping by and we hope you took some value out of this video. If you're interested in learning more about our epoxy products, check out our other videos. See you next time.